Hey there, Internet. Welcome back to another edition of Nonsense. It's your boy, Lee. And this father gave this, not girl, this woman, when she was a girl, the best advice a father probably could have given in the situation that she was in. Let's check it out. Now that I have a kid, I literally cannot believe the balls it took for my dad to say this to me when I was in high school. When I was 16, I tried out for one of the best volleyball clubs in the country. And on the last day, they post what team you made. I made the second best team, which I can tell you was not the goal. I walk out of the gym, I get in the car with my dad, and I burst into tears. And he gives me a hug, and he lets me go on and on and on about how it's not fair and how I thought I was better than the girl who made the team that I wanted to make in my position. And once he let me be sad about it, he pulled away and he looked at me and he said this, maybe you were better than the girl who made the team in your position, but life's not always fair. You're gonna have to make yourself so good, they would look dumb not to put you on the top team. And to most men who are watching this, that sounds 100% correct. A hundred percent. And that is something, excuse me, that I would have told my daughter that, hey, you've got to be so good that it is more than obvious that you need to be on that starting team. That is logic. That is male logic. Most women don't have that. And don't get me wrong. Women have logic, but most women don't start from, from a place of logic. They start from a place of emotions. Like she said there, when she got in the car, she immediately burst into tears. And a lot of moms would have told her, poor baby. They would have tried to console her by telling them that the coaches don't know what they're doing. I'm so sorry. Did you want to try another sport? Like everything around what the actual issue was. And the actual issue was, is that, his daughter, this woman here at the time, just wasn't good enough. But he didn't say, you weren't good enough. And so many words he said that, but he did say it in a way that made sense to her. And it helped and influenced her and it stuck with her for her entire life. Listen to more. And in that moment, he took my destiny out of what felt like it was in my coach's hands and put it back in mine. Mm -hmm. And to this day, if I ever feel like I'm blaming the algorithm, other people, whatever, for why I don't have the life or the results that I want, I think to myself, make yourself so good that literally none of that matters. There it is. Look in the comment section. I needed this. Thank you. So Donna fully agrees. Makes me think of playing the violin. You don't practice until you get it right. You practice until you can't get it wrong. Some This person up there said the exact same thing. So my saying for my kids is don't get better. Get better. Um, <laughs> okay. Somebody's going to have to explain that to me because that doesn't make sense. Uh, Ray says he 100% agrees. Don't blame anyone. Um... I have this done. <clears throat> I have done this. Sorry. I have this done. I have done this. <laughs> Tried harder and got the results. Right? Needed to hear this. This was mediocre at best. Well, this was mediocre. I don't know about mediocre. So, Rodney Rabbits is crazy. But I agree with him. So, great dad talk. So, absolutely great opinion. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have what you want in life, you got to work hard. You got to work harder. If somebody has something that you want, the life you want, I'm not saying take something that someone else has, but if they have the life you want, or there's a life that you have in your head or position that you want in your head, or you want to make a team, then you've got to put in the work to get it. It's not just going to be just handed to you. So we need to throw out this everyone gets a trophy business because that's not objective reality. It's really not.